Good morning, grandkids. Well, I'll give you the skinny on what was happening at the end of Willow's last video that scared me half to death and made me think I'd lost some saves and was back before she discovered her cabin. As you could see, when I had touched on her cabin with my cursor, it showed black, as in not discovered, and that's what threw me into a panic and made me think I was way back before I ever even discovered it. And, and that's why I ended the video, because there wasn't anything I could take a lot of time doing in the video. But afterward, checking things out, in moving around my cursor, it was showing two cabins, one black and one white, which I didn't notice at that time. I only saw the black one. If I'd have seen both of them, I might have figured out what was going on. But here's why. I had gotten a mod to upgrade her cabin for later on not realizing that when she left the cabin, it would set the mod there and would go into effect when she came back to the cabin. So it was showing her cabin white and it was showing the modded cabin black over the top of it. So that's what had happened. Uh, I was going to be role-playing the story this way that she spent several days in Ripton uh, hoping that her family's caravan would show up and while waiting she spent a lot of time in the alchemist shop using their alchemy table and experimenting with the ingredients that she'd been collecting and then selling the results to the alchemist there and, and so was accumulating a little more money. And then I was going to pretend that she had met some carpenters who were desperate for a little money, and they talked about her cabin without a door or a window <laughs> or room for a follower. And they finally had come to an agreement, and she hired them. Well, then she sent them on to her cabin, and they promised her it would be done by the time she returned home. As she had told them that she might spend two or three weeks at Rifton. So, here we are. There was the cabin, updated, superimposed over the other cabin, just waiting for her to come home to and discover. And, and it would unlock the mod. So here, here's we are at that point. So that whole story has supposedly taken place. So we'll just have to pre pretend that we went through all that on camera. And uh, now she's headed back to the cabin. Well, of course, I have already taken her there because I had to find out what in the heck was going on. So I backed her up down the road so that I can take you on the journey to discover the cabin. So let's keep on trekking down the road. I'm excited for you to see it. Let's run a little bit. Uh, I better put this up here. I won't know where it's at. Is it off in that direction? A little bit. Do I have a path up to that cabin? I never do remember. I can't pick any ingredients along here because they're already picked. Oh, look at that pretty deer running through there. Aww. Oh, missed that great picture because he's surprised to be. See the two cabins up there on the on the compass? 
They're both white now because I had already gone ahead of you guys and discovered it. The mod. So. Because I didn't want to just take you into the unknown. <laughs> and over here is my cat. Alright. So we're going down to it. come up through. Oh, here's some more red flowers. Oh, I left the door open. <laughs> I meant to have it shut. Look, there's a little... Was this little pool out here before? I don't remember it. You guys will have to tell me. I'm picking all this stuff. Look at this. I haven't seen any fish in it, so it's just something to be pretty, I guess. Ooh, this is something pickable. Doesn't that look like it would be a cool ingredient? I wonder <coughs> if those two cabins are always going to stay on there. I think that's kind of silly. That the one that was remodeled doesn't go away. Anyway. There's that pond if it wasn't there before. Here's two little chairs they set there. Look. I got mushrooms and all kinds of stuff growing all over the place here. And I'm not going to pick these ingredients on either side of the door because they just make a really pretty entrance. They, they made this stall here and put some hay in there so I could have a horse if I wanted one. They put me a door on here. And instead of just one, a double, which is really nice. There's a rug on the floor. I got a chair and a chest. And look at my bed, how nice they made it. I've got storage. I've got shrines. This one works. I can activate it, but this one doesn't let me activate it. I don't know why. Look at that cool painting. I've got a cooking pot. I've got an oven. Isn't it cute? It's not spread all over the place. More storage. My chest. Look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have harvest these ingredients because that just makes such a nice bouquet by my bed. So I've got that. I've got a safe. I've got a shelf where I can set all the different kinds of uh, insects in jars. I could put him up there, but I know it would just turn upside down or fall off or something. Got another shrine. And they didn't make a door here. Uh, I don't think they felt like the weather here needed a door. And it's fenced in in the back, so... I think they felt like I was safe enough in here. So they just hung a, hung a cloth there, which that's okay with me. Now look out here. They they made my little alchemy station that was out here better. Look how cute this is. That's my alchemy lab. And look at this. It's like this thing was in an aquarium, <laughs> but it's not in water. It's, isn't this cool? And I can't remember the name of that creature or where I have seen it before in some of my other gameplay. If you guys uh, could tell me, that would be nice. And here's my enchanting station. That's cool. And I have ingredients just all over the place and storage all over the place. All kinds of ingredients growing 
flying around. Isn't that cool? And then and I've got a workstation. Didn't show you that. And oh and look, this is so odd. I've got the anvil, I've got the workbench, and I've got the grindstone. But see this toolbox sitting here? It says tanning rack. Isn't that odd? There's a hammer in it. <laughs> and I walked around behind it thinking maybe the tanning rack's back here. But it's not. It's that. Which that's okay. I don't care just so I have one. And there's some things that's growing back here. But I have planting plots that I can grow what I want to in. And then around, off my workstation here, around here, there's some more chicken area and a chair. And here's a hammock for a follower. I can sleep in it, but I hope to goodness I can tell a follower to sleep in it. Look how it shows my two houses up there separated, and the other one isn't even here. I have all kinds of flying bugs and moths and butterflies that I can collect. Hi, chickens. Are you coming home to roost? I already, I already gathered your eggs that were there. Are you not going to let me walk by? You're blocking my path, chickens. Uh, so this is my upgraded little shack. I think it's pretty cool. But I'll tell you, we have a lot of ingredients. Uh, but there's some places that we're going to have to take Willow to get others that she doesn't have. As you can tell, this is a grandma talking video. It isn't a role play. Oh, I'll get back to role playing probably in the next video. There's, there's two barrels to save in. And they had ingredients back there in that barrel. But way back there behind all this stuff just didn't seem convenient to me. And this was empty. So I put all my ingredients in there. Except right here, I'm putting in ingredients that I'm saving for uh, people that require a certain thing. Like that smithy that wants so many fire salts. I put my fire salt that I have in there just waiting till I collect more to take to him. So I won't get them mixed with this and used up without thinking. And then I set this little place back here aside to collect the really hard to get ingredients for that will go in future potions that will m make a lot of money when she gets a higher level in alchemy. So I'm storing them there to keep them for the future so I won't accidentally use them up. Now everything else goes in here. I don't like named uh, storage because I don't want to, I don't want to have to look through each thing, remember to put each thing in the right place and so on. It's so the same way in here in my kitchen area. All this is is named storage, but I don't like it. I'm put, could, put, well, I can't even talk. I'm putting all of my baking supplies in here. And I'm putting all my other cooking supplies in there. Just to keep things simple. This says search journals. I don't even know exactly what is supposed to go in there. Do you guys like this? I think it's pretty cute. 
So we're going to have to take Willow out. Let's see what she's looking like today. We're going to have to take Willow out up to the uh, uh, swamps and get some different kinds of eggs and spider poisons. And we're going to have to go up to the uh, that volcanic area north of way up north of Riften and get some creep cluster and uh, what else is it that you can get up there a lot of I forget right now and uh, we're gonna have to go up to the north shore and get some Nordic barnacles and stuff so we've got lots of places to have to go and visit we're gonna have to go in caves and get mushrooms and find all kinds of other ingredients that's sitting on shelves and tables and kill bandits and collect loot for money. So we've got a lot to do. Also, now that she has a place for him, Willow wants to get a follower to help her, especially when she goes into some of these bandit caves and places. She might even pick up a quest here and there once in a while for some fellow citizen that she talks to. So we will see how that all goes. So today's video is going to be all short. It's going to be all about me talking to you instead of Willow talking to you. And uh, the next time we come back to here, why, it will be Willow taking you farther on her journey, telling you her story. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, grandkids. Uh, you know the ins and outs of what happened and what's uh, going on right now and what the future is holding. So I will leave you with this video for today, and I'll see you again on the coming Saturday, and we will start our story again. Bye-bye, grandkids.